Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see SC200 Microsoft Security Operation Analyst Lab 4 in which we will enable Microsoft Defender for cloud. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Okay, I am logged on to the portal. So, to implement cloud workload protection with Microsoft Defender for Cloud, you need to have access on the Azure portal and you need to set up your subscription. Now, if you will go to portal.azure.com, please remember that to enable Defender, Microsoft 365 Defender and its services, Defender for Identity, Defender for Servers, Defender for Endpoint, you need to go to security.microsoft.com. But you need to enable Microsoft Defender for Cloud, you need to go to portal.azure.com. Okay, and if you will click on, uh, you can go to your subscription. I have a pay as you go subscription. When you will go to your subscription, I believe there is an option to defend the for cloud. You click on security. So my Defender for Cloud is, I already uh, enabled the Microsoft Defender for Cloud. So that is why it is giving me this option. And it is also giving me an option to upgrade my subscription for Microsoft Defender for Cloud plan. So if I go for a Microsoft Defender for Cloud Blade, on my Azure portal. Here it is. And to onboard Microsoft Defender for Cloud, you need to create the log analytic workspace as well, right? So when you will create a log analytic workspace, you will have an option to enable the Defender for Cloud. So once you will enable the Defender for Cloud and you will click on Environment Settings under Management, in the Microsoft Defender for Cloud, you see that you have an Azure subscription which is onboarded and it has 11 out of 12 plans. So if you will click on it, it will bring up the Defender plans. I have made uh, another video series for full range of videos on Microsoft Defender for Cloud. Though there is some bit of uh, I would say content available in SC200 for Microsoft Defender for Cloud in which they show us how to enable, how to uh, set up settings and monitoring with Log Analytics Workspace, how Log Analytics Agent or Azure uh, Monitor Agent comes into picture. I don't know what is stopping it. Let me refresh and check. All right, this is, these are the plans. So whatever plan you want to enable, you can turn it on. Whatever plans you want to disable, you can just turn off the plan, click on save. And you click on confirm. This is how you can enable or disable a plan. And let's say you want to protect an on-premises server, right? So you would cancel this. You would go to Microsoft Defender for Cloud. Under getting started, if you want to upgrade, you will upgrade. And if you will just scroll down, this is the server plan. If you want to install agents, you can continue without installing agents as well. No workload protection, unmonitored VMs. And if you want to 
अपग्रेड यू विल क्लिक ऑन अपग्रेड माइक्रोसॉफ्ट मेक द मोस्ट ऑफ डिफेंडर फॉर क्लाउड बाय एनेबलिंग डेटा कलेक्शन एजेंट्स एंड इफ यू वांट टू इंस्टॉल द एजेंट्स इट विल इंस्टॉल द एजेंट ऑटोमेटिकली ऑन ऑल द सर्वर राइट and it will when it will uh, upgrade then you can uh, install the agents and you can install the agents on your on premise server as well so this will uh, install the agent on one subscription so every time i onboard a server my that will be protected by defender for from defender for cloud right so it will automatically enable that server this is your workload protection inventory this is the one alert that i got for my previous vm and that is how you will enable it so i believe this video was informative for all of you guys if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day ahead